Today is International Women's Day, and across the globe, people are celebrating women's achievements and highlighting the continuing struggle for equality. Today, we continue our series commemorating International Women's Day and Women's History Month by hearing about the women's movement in rural Morocco and from women artists in New Orleans. But first, we go to Lebanon. The country has one of the most advanced education systems in the Middle East, and women received the right to vote six decades ago. Yet there are no women in the cabinet, and only four women MPs among a parliament of 128. Frustrated by the low representation of women in mainstream politics, some activists are pushing for a new strategy. FSRN's Zach Brophy reports. Support for women's rights may have gained ground in Lebanon's civil society over recent years, but many campaigners are increasingly critical of the response from the political establishment. Nadine Moayed is an activist with a Lebanese feminist collective called Nasawiya, which simply means women. But the problem is that all of civil society now is battling against a parliament where we have no representatives. Like we have no, there's nobody in parliament you can go to as an activist and count on them. Awareness campaigns have had an effect. Previously taboo topics such as sexual harassment and domestic violence are now common debating points, but there have been few tangible results. A law granting the same nationality rights to women as men, a proposed quota for female representation in Parliament, and a domestic violence bill have all become bogged down in the system after years of debate. Dispirited by the resistance to change, Moayed and other activists are proposing a radical new strategy. As I think, as a you know, for for a women's movement,、um, you have to sort of make that jump from you know being an NGO to becoming a, like a people's movement, more of a political movement. Alongside like-minded activists, Moayed is advocating a political party run by women for women. While some feminist campaigners have welcomed it, others see it as an unrealistic strategy. Hayat Aslan is the president of the Committee for Women's Political Empowerment. Maybe it's a positive idea, but it could, cannot be taken seriously because parties in Lebanon are also personalized. We don't have real parties with real programs. Maybe this one can be a real party with a real program, but you know, as I told you, it's just tribal. I don't think that it will be feasible. I don't think so. فهي أنه لا يمكن بناء الأوطان بالحقد أو بالقمع. At a political rally in Beirut, Strida Jaja addresses a crowd of followers, calling for unity in opposition. She is one of only four female voices heard in the Lebanese Parliament. She argues that the idea of a women's party is not only unrealistic but also counterproductive. For me personally, I do not support the idea of a women's-only political party. This would not help us. Instead, we will isolate ourselves. We will place ourselves outside of what is happening. We should develop the women's role within the existing political parties in Lebanon. Many activists consider existing political parties that Jar Jar talks of as part of the problem and not part of the solution. Moayed and Aslan disagree on the feasibility of a women's-only party, but they are united in saying that the existing sectarian system and its established parties are at the heart of what is holding women back from meaningful participation in politics. Activist Nadine Moayed. There's going to be a successful feminist movement. It has to be an anti-sectarian movement, a secular movement, one that isn't part of these corrupt political games, like something fresh and something new and something that comes from the women. Pushing women's causes in such a male-dominated parliament is an uphill struggle in any case. Arslan says this is magnified because the sectarian nature of politics stops the few female MPs there are from working in unison to advance feminist issues. Their very small number cannot enable them to be as impressive as they have to be, and as I said, because they come from different political affiliations. They don't have concerted efforts on a certain issue. More than 20,000 Lebanese marched against the sectarian system last year, but to little effect. Nonetheless, Moayed is adamant that the campaign for a women's political party would be more than a publicity ploy. It definitely should not be set up to be symbolic. I mean, it will achieve some symbolic ends, but definitely should be a party that's you know, racing to win some seats in parliament. 
A women's only political party in Lebanon is still just an idea. It has not yet been created and it remains unclear how much real support on the street it could carry. However, after years of frustration, some women's rights activists are challenging their peers that this is the only avenue they have left. Zach Brophy, FSRN, Beirut, Lebanon.